Right, walk continues everyone, just when you thought that was the end. I'm now in the wood and all I'm doing is just going to keep going down until I get to the end. I don't know exactly which way out because I come, I've been here two different ways now. Uh, and this seems the most straightforward one, so I'm doing this one. I've got a feeling I came up this one. It gets, I think it's going to get confusing when I get down and there's like branching off and all that. Yeah, these boots have served me well. Even now, because they're so good, these boots, they're protecting me even when they, they're letting, they do let the water out. They breathe, you see. So they are sort of drying out already with my foot on it. And my foot, although I thought my foot might get sore from the water, um, and it could if I went on too long, and I mean, it's, a sensible limit, you know. <sighs> anyway, it's a good time to go and check in, isn't it? Book in something to eat. Um, what else do you want to do? Yeah, book some food. <sighs> I want dinner. Need to change my top. Went up the top. The umbrella was a godsend, and I've always said that. A little den over there. Of course, the rain does keep people away, you know. I can imagine this being a lot busier if it was baking hot. The rain definitely keeps people away, so you get peace. Hello, my Nedwood. I'm Sheila from Western Woods. How you doing? I'm just going to keep going downward because I ain't quite sure where you come out. But if I keep going down, I'm bound to come out in my Ned, ain't I? I'm really happy with the pack. I didn't think I'd get up house and coom. Um, it was a struggle, but it wasn't hot. You've got to remember, it was the sun did come out for a bit, and I put the umbrella up. Um, There's a little sprinkling of rain, and then there was a cool breeze. That lovely bit of lichen there, look. That's a sign of pure air. Old man's beard. It's fallen off somewhere around here. Yeah, so, and I just followed the simple steps of small steps. Look down and keep going. And that's what got me up. It was worrying me whether I could do it, whether I could have a heart attack. When I got up the top, as I've mentioned in another video, I felt exhilarated. Not only because I'd achieved it, but actually my lungs were so filled with pure oxygen. I'm keeping to this main track for as long as possible because I got, I took a wrong path when I came up from the zigzag route. And, uh, I took a, a wrong path. And I ended up sort of going all in there and then going in some field and it was amazing. So if you've seen, there's not been one post to tell you where to go. Now there was that coastal walk which I will experiment with one day. But someone always told me I wouldn't bother doing that. 
that it was difficult or dangerous or something. So <laughs> I finished the rugged route anyway. I actually completed the rugged route at the required place. Yeah, this is quite a big wood actually. Yeah, I'm sure I went following up one sort of route. I ended up in a field over there somewhere, I think. On the way up, that was. There were signs and then they were leading you into all sorts of places. There were some plantation trees that were like memorial trees as well, like a bit like at Alford. And it was very beautiful and there was a chair there, you know, a bench. Yeah, I reckon I wondered if someone like, oh, I don't know. All I know, I'm going to keep going down, downhill. I can see it's getting light down there anyway. Right, so this is Sheila, everyone. Continuing her coastal walking. We've done Porlock to Minehead today in a nice, gentle walk. Nice, nice, gentle walk. And, uh, see what I mean? We're at forks about everywhere. I'm going to go straight down there. That looks like a main route to me. But you can probably, people probably come down through there as well. And I don't matter if I end up in the town a bit. I don't really care. Uh, I've walked that far in a few more minutes. I'm going to make a difference. Over and out, folks. You know, it's quite pleasant just... I haven't been talking. I've just been quietly thinking and... walking along in the rain. But protected by the trees. And it's so peaceful. Even though it's raining. There's so much peace. You can hear the rain. I don't need a coat on. I haven't put a coat on. I've only just put my jumper on. I haven't had my jumper on most of the walk. It was hot when I left Bosington. No, or when I left Porlock, the sun was out. And uh, there, there were some clouds. It was um, quite warm going up towards through Bosington. I took, well, I'm even videoing and photographing everything. And I just thought, well, it's a shame not to just do a little bit of this last bit. There's a big tree there gone down. Huge tree. When it uh, runs out, I'll take photos tomorrow if I don't. If the battery goes now, I can't bother. I'll take pictures of the, the pub where I'm staying. The ship aground, I think it's called. <laughs> it's right um, near the pier, near the harbour. I've seen it. I've been in. I've had um, drinking there in the past, and it was a proper pub. <sighs> They're all trying to survive now, aren't they? Really? I mean, I bet they didn't stop them drinking their ale when the plague was about. I might have to put my mask on when I go in there. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are yet. And I haven't had to at this hotel. But from tomorrow, the new laws come in. And you've got to uh, wear a mask nearly everywhere. You can get a £100 fine. If you don't. Do you know, I, feel, I was just beginning to feel tired. Um... I had a couple of sneezing sessions yesterday evening, so I decided to take an antihistamine so I don't sneeze all the time, you know. It's, it's hay fever. It's not COVID. I get it all the time. I suffer with rhinositis. And uh, I'm just beginning to feel weary, actually. Um, I think I couldn't, I, I don't think I could have gone much further now today. It's just, it's just hit me now. 
coming down here and relaxing. It's just hit me how tired I feel. Because I have done a lot. This is four days of walking. And not just in straight lines on flat. It's been up and down, round and round. In the heat, mainly. <sighs> it's been good though. I'm just beginning to... I'm, I feel like I'm on my last legs. If somebody put an obstacle in my way now, I'd cry probably. <laughs> because if he said, oh sorry love, that the room's gone. I'd go, oh, is it? Well, I'm staying here, I'm not moving. I can't. I've got a feeling my hotel is actually down there somewhere. But there's, um, there will be a turn in, I hope, eventually. Like I said, I've done so many different routes in this wood. I mean, I'm feeling too hot with the jumper on. I should have left it off for a bit longer. Hopefully we'll see a pole in a minute. Are you asleep yet, everyone? Watching my videos? <laughs> this is day four. And I could feel, I could easily go to sleep. I feel so tired all of a sudden. I think I'll ache tomorrow again. I did ache after the big hike. I wasn't too bad. Monday was all right. It wasn't too bad a walk. That one's a warm up. Tuesday. Now that was a hike. That was eleven hours. That was a hike. The longest I've ever done. In time and distance and terrain. I reckon this is going to take me to the zigzag path and come out by the big hands holding the map. I don't care if it does, it's still not far from the pub when I get there, so... <sighs> if I'd gone down that green way, or whatever it's called, I think that would have taken me up the top car park area. But I haven't done that. I haven't done explored that yet. <sighs> oh God. Such a big wood this, isn't it? Such a big wood. I think I'll sleep. I do need to stay here today. So I just need to unwind before I go home. I don't know what's going what's gonna to happen. I've got things going on in the family that I can't, are out of my control at the moment. I can't control them anyway. To be quite honest. Oh my God, what's going on in it? See, there's probably ways. I'm not going to do any risking, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if that don't sort of take me down to the hotel down there. But I, I'm not going to risk it because it looks a bit dodgy. So I just have to keep following this until the main it turns properly. <sighs> That's probably a little well or something. Probably in a brochure. Yeah, I expect so. A little, little watering hole. Right, I'm going to turn off again, folks. It's starting to pour again. So I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right, folks, I think we're on the zigzag path now. Let's take that down for a minute. We're on the zigzag path. We'll be, we'll be zigging and zagging now for a bit. I thought I'd video a bit more. Normally I'm walking up this. You've got, when you're going to do that walk, you've got a big hike before you start even on the walk. Either end, there's a hike. Fancy pie and chips, or I, I need food. I need a proper dinner. <sighs> I 
can't remember how long this zigzagging goes on for either. I'm sure it used to be more zigzaggy than this. Still doing it folks, you awake? Have you got the popcorn out? Going, going down. Who's asleep yet? Who's turned me off? You've got to, you've got to follow me because this is what's happening for me and my legs feel like jelly. You know, I'm just starting to feel tired, which I haven't done. Thank goodness I didn't feel like this um, during the main rugged route. It only happened to me after I stopped for a minute. And I was walking quietly through the woods, and it was very quiet. Look at that. It looks like a creature, doesn't it? And I, I started to relax, I think. Um, because I thought, oh, this is it, just gentle walk through the wood. I didn't realise, I'd forgotten. Here's the zigzag path. I'd actually forgotten how big a wood this was. You know, I probably walked for a good mile, if not more. Uh, I'll be doing a lot. I'll be tomorrow, I'll be straight on the bus home, I think. Oh, well, I've got to get a bus and a train. This isn't the end of my journey. Tomorrow's a travelling day. Here we go, folks. Zigzagging down. Right, over now. I expect people are getting bored now. <sighs> I've still got to walk it, though. Over and out.